I thought we would hang out today. Oh, like out of breath. You guys, I feel like I'm getting a really late start to the day, but that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna be able to get anything done, okay? Half my day is over, and I'm not like getting a late start. I'm getting a late start with home stuff, stuff that I normally do during the first portion of the day, but it's like that back to school, not back to school, end of school hustle where the kids have something like every single day. Let me close this gate. He's moving fast these days. So, what are the things that I have to do today? Just a general tidy up. I think we're having people over this weekend, which is like nothing new. So I just need to make sure that there isn't crap everywhere. Also, uh, clean out my fridge, tidy up my pantry. Oh, I got stuff to put up here to like organize this space up here. I forgot about that. I just did that today. <laughs> How could I forget? It's all downstairs, so I'll pull that up, but I just wanna organize this spot. I'm spending a lot more time up here because he's more mobile and putting him up here to play just makes the most sense. Oh my heavens. By the way, I, I, this is a snack that I left up here from yesterday, which is another reason why I wanna organize up here. I wanna leave some snacks up here. It's just, because if I'm up here playing, I'm not gonna walk, you know, disrupt his play to go downstairs because God forbid I leave him alone for more than five seconds to grab a snack. So I wanna keep some snacks up here. So I got some organizing bins to do that. Also like in my head, I'm like, oh, we're gonna have like movie theater snacks up here because we have movie night as a family. I might do brownie Friday because hello, it's the weekend. Kids aren't home from school yet, but when they do get home, I'm gonna have them do their homework and then we'll join in on the fun. But this video is sponsored by iXL. I'll share more about them with you when the kids come home to do their homework because iXL is just a part of their everyday home learning. But for now, I'm going to just start and bring all this stuff up here. You know, I thought it was semi-tidy up here. <laughs> it's not. I mean, I think this all needs to go down. These garbage cans, I got them from the Dollar Tree forever ago. They fit like nothing. So I bought a new garbage can. I'm, I'm actually excited about that one. And then I all these dishes, garbage and laundry. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I made it, I got all this crap. You know, I'm trying to like wear more dresses and stuff, but you know, I normally get home and I like change right back into my PJs. So I'm trying not to do that, but I'm like walking up the stairs, stepping on my, I'm a mess and a half. But also this dress has pockets. <laughs> All right, let me show you my loot. Just don't look around, okay? We play up here. But inside of this trash can should be some organizing. Oh, what is that? Play-doh? It's dry. It's dry. It dried out? You have to put it in there. Oh, you thought it was the garbage? Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Look. Meredith thought it was the garbage can. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, so I have some like organizing bins and stuff. Okay, I got really inspired by someone. I don't remember where I saw it. Probably Instagram. That's the worst. Okay, I get heavily influenced making me believe that I can be a certain kind of lady. Oh, by the way, this is the before. Okay, this is what we're working with. We've been here a year and a half. Ask me how many times we have accessed this drawer. I don't know, zero. So I'm gonna give these arts and crafts and put them in the kids' craft bins and I think that they will actually be used if I do that. And then down here, it's just a game. Like I can put that game literally anywhere else. So hopefully the bins even fit in there. I haven't even tested them out. The top drawer looks perfectly fine. This down here I feel like is begging for a garbage can, but it's also like extra toy storage because those are big toys and I don't have a spot for them. So I did buy a garbage can for down there too. Here's more bins in here. I don't know if I'm gonna use them all. And also paper towels. We never have like a spot for paper towels up here. So we're needing that. And then under the sink, organizer here we've got this so maybe my cleaning products will fit there i don't know maybe they won't you know i was thinking this was for under the sink but i think i got this for the bathroom originally i had two but i put one back because this alex is like we need a bigger garbage can on that and uh he's right so i got this one maybe it'll slide right here no i don't know maybe over there because the popcorn machine makes a massive mess i don't know i just feel like this whole place was designed really weird <laughs> So I'm just gonna do my best to figure it out up here. It is forever a challenge for me to figure out this space, but I think we're getting there slowly but surely. So I'm just gonna empty everything out of these drawers. I'm pretty sure I donated this game. See, I had no idea it was even in there. And this is leftover from last year's summertime fun because it was stuck in there and we completely forgot about it. So we've gotta figure out a better option for these things. 
I've got a bag full of wires that go to the piano, a keyboard, whatever. And actually I was looking through Target today and they had a lot of summertime fun things, but I tried to refrain from buying anything because Hopefully I won't need that for another three-ish weeks, but you know we love our summertime fun over here. You hear that? The kids are home, so it's time for homework. It's the kids' favorite time of the day. It's homework time, and we like to use IXL. Uh, huge thanks to IXL for sponsoring this video. Huge thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. The kids know for homework every day, IXL is always on their list of things to do, and we love it. It's an interactive online learning program. My kids use it for English and math, but IXL also offers science, social studies, and Spanish too. My kids have been using it for years and years. They actually use it in school, but also use it for home learning too. I also love to use it during the summertime to keep their brains active. And you guys know I always have IXL on their summer checklist. So IXL is a personalized program. You can use it from grades pre-K to high school. It's designed to meet my child exactly where they're at and it supports and challenges them to learn at a pace that's just right for them. And it tracks their progress too. So in analytics, I can see just what my kids have accomplished and where they're at in their learning. And then other features IXL has, uh, they have games, awards, and certificates to help celebrate their milestones and then also it motivates them to do more. They also have tutorials, lessons, examples, uh, problems, detailed explanations, like when they get the problem wrong, and it's all very easy to use, and it helps my kids master new skills. I don't wanna brag, but like all my kids are ahead in their academics, and I really think IXL helped them achieve this with, with all of the extra practice it provided them with. So they have a yearly fee, and that fee gives you unlimited practice, which is gonna come in great during summertime when you wanna keep their brains active. So if you want 20% off of your first year, you can use my link in the description box below. Check them out. I really think you're gonna be impressed with everything that they have to offer. And 20% is a huge discount. Give your child the gift of having a great education and having IXL supplement that. So while the kids are doing their homework, I am going to uh, finish out upstairs. IXL is a spectacular learning program and it helps me learn way easier and without IXL, I don't know what I'd do. I should also mention that IXL has an app so you can use it on an iPad or phone or the computer. I actually think the bins that I got would also be great for organizing um, our art supplies too. The markers fit in here perfectly. And these are just the bins from Target. The bright room, so they're like more affordable, which is right up my alley because who the heck knows if this will even work. Okay, so they do fit in there. I gotta figure out a way to configure these. Oh, I guess I still have to clean the drawers out. One thing at a time, I'm just wanting to get it over with. Now that I'm seeing just how big these drawers are, I'm wondering if I got enough containers. I also got these white ones too, so I wasn't sure about these at first because I really don't even, I mean, it would help if I knew what I was putting in here. The problem is if I knew exactly what I was putting in there, I would overthink it and second guess it and then ultimately be paralyzed by perfectionism and then not end up doing anything at all. So I figured we'll just go in blind, do whatever. <laughs> and it turns out I bought the exact right amount of containers even going in blind and not knowing anything. So I feel like 10 out of 10 for effort. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just ate some cheese. I like feel my bubbly guts. I'm trying to eat more protein and uh, everyone's like, cheese, cheese. I don't think I can handle that, okay? This is currently my organizing system and it is not working for me. So I'm gonna see if this two tier thing works out a little better. Ooh, okay. I need to make a list of things to like stock up here. I need snacks, I need paper towels, I need trash bags. And probably cleaning products, maybe some cleaning rags. Should I get a basket up here for laundry? <laughs> okay, this is, I don't, what is back here even? I don't know. This has been back here for a while. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. What the heck? I always thought it was Alex's poker chips. The reality is I, I have no idea. Poker chips. Why? What is it necessary to have this many? He has like four boxes of poker chips. And I also think I might need to move this stuff too, just to have a garbage can. Oh, uh, and then I'm losing space. What am I gonna do? Whatever, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. 
and we always do. I always figure it out. It might not ever be perfect, but I did figure it out. And now that I'm looking at how I organized under the sink, I can, I, in my head, I'm like, oh, I wonder, because I ultimately put garbage bags under here in another white basket. I'm wondering if I could fit the garbage bags along, like the second basket on top of with the cleaning products. So I'll figure that out too. For now, I mean, it functions so much better. There's not toys everywhere. The toys are kind of isolated. This room will, I feel like, forever be a work in progress because of all of the toys. But little by little, I feel like I'm chipping away at this place. The left side of the cabinet tree, I went through that recently with you guys, and I feel like we got a lot of uh, progress there when I moved all the board games to the top. And this was really the catalyst. I had leftover Easter candy, and I thought, well, Let's just go all out and make this a, a movie theater because <laughs> we have been enjoying movie night as a family. So I don't know. It's been nice up there. We had it this past weekend and it worked out. So fingers crossed it continues to do that. I know I'm not finished upstairs, not even close, not even a little bit, but um, I just got distracted. You know how it goes when like you're cleaning, you pick up this one thing and you're like, oh, let me bring this to the laundry room. And then you bring it to the laundry room and then you have a load of laundry to do. And so you think, oh, let me switch over the laundry. And then you switch over the laundry and you find like a basket of socks and you're like, oh, these baskets of socks goes in my sock drawer. And then, so you bring it to your sock drawer and then on your way to the sock drawer, you put them in there. And then on top of your dresser, you find something that belongs in your bathroom and then you put it in your bathroom and while you're in your, you know, the snowball effect of all of that. So I found these, <laughs> I needed, short story long, I needed to put them in our like party supply bin. So I'm gonna do that, but while I'm in here, the second part of that is I'm gonna collect a bunch of snacks, cause I'm sure we have enough snacks in here to bring upstairs. You know, we've tried to keep the food downstairs where it's easy to clean up and not on top of carpet. But the thing is they have friends over and they eat up there anyway. So I figured like little snacky items, it might be okay. I don't know, it'll be a trial run. We'll see how it goes, fingers crossed. But I figured we might as well try with the snacks that we have rather than like buying a bunch of movie snacks and bringing them up there and spending an arm and a leg on sugar and crap. So let me show you what's happening. So while I'm in here, I think I need to tidy this place up because it is a disaster zone. The last time I went to Costco, I didn't really put stuff away. The kids helped me just shove everything in here and then it just ends up looking like this. Even though some of these baskets are empty and then the snack section is kind of overflowing to here. So I really just need to get on top of this. And I think it shouldn't take me too long, but who the heck knows these days? And really, what is time? Actually, speaking of time, oh my gosh, okay, so I, I heard a quote, uh, it's a pretty famous one. Let me, let me gather my thoughts, hold on. Okay, apparently it's not that famous, and boy, oh boy, if you wanna be inundated by time quotes, just type in famous time quotes in Google. Okay, I've, I kind of found half of it, but when I was scrolling through Instagram this morning, um, something popped up and it was like, you know, something around the gist of, we all wish we had more time, and we take it for granted and stuff. So the second half of it went, you can't own it, but you can use it. You can't keep it, but you can spend it. And once you've lost it, you can never get it back. So it was just kind of this touching thing. So when I tell you, oh, time is all like relative, you know, like what I have rather been spending this time doing other things, like what? Like the things that matter, the things that are important, spending time with my kids and all of that stuff. Some of you, well, not some of you, a very small portion of you, judge me on the state of my house. Oh my gosh, how could you? I could never, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's awesome. But for me, I prioritize my time and spending it doing things that are way more important than cleaning. Because at the end of the day, yes, I like to live in a tidy house. Yes, I like when things are nice and clean. But do I want to spend all day, every day cleaning? Absolutely not. And I hope you have those same thoughts, like spend your time wisely. Who the heck knows when it's, you know, when we're not going to have any more time, you know? So I'm cleaning my pantry and this was long overdue. When I say long over, I mean, when's the last time we cleaned it together? Because honestly, that's probably the last time that I tidied this place up. An empty bag of pretzels, I said, come on. And then I think there were goldfish in another basket just 
you know, kids are kids and sometimes they get wild and crazy. Sometimes I open packages and like a cracker falls out into the abyss. I'm like, oh, I'll get that later. And then later never comes. You know what I mean? So anyway, it's not just them. It's also other people <laughs> too. So I'm finally spending the time that I need to get this done. I found an Oreo. Am I upset about this or happy? You know what I mean? The questions that go unsolved. I said, really, it's not that bad. It's actually kind of good. It couldn't have been that old. A soggy Oreo. It doesn't go bad. If it goes bad, it just gets softer, which in my opinion, please and thank you. <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever had like a crusty hard Oreo? You know how some things, when you leave them out, they get stale and crusty. Oh, wait, what's one thing? One of my sister-in-laws really likes, che is it cheese puffs? Like the puffy cheesos, cheese cheesos, whatever they're called. I know you know what I'm talking about. The cheese puffs. Doodles? Is that what they're? I don't know. Anyway, um, I bought them one time. Oh, maybe it's the balls. Regardless. She likes them to leave out for like 20 minutes and they get a little crusty, a little stale. I'm like, okay, man, you do you, but... That's kind of weird. All right. Everyone has their thing. <laughs> That's hers. But I saw, I also saw this other thing. Someone said, if you put the cheesy puffies, the puffy cheese doodles into a salad spinner, they turn into, okay, it would really be beneficial if I knew the names of products. Cheese, cheese, it, not a cheese it. The skinny ones, the cheese, hold on. <laughs> Che oh gosh, no, I just Googled, I forgot. Cheetos, the Cheetos. Anyway, so he did that <laughs> and it didn't work for him. So you can't believe everything you see online, right? Uh, except for everything I share with you. Okay, so now I'm going through and sorting this stuff. You guys, do you see this expiration date? 2022, November of 2022. Oh, that's cool, really cool. And I have a, a full one unopened. It's like, sometimes I buy things and they eat through it so fast. I'm like, oh, okay, I should stock up on this. And then they just stop eating it. I'm like, okay, well, what am I going to do with it now? So I'm going to have to look up some recipes. I know there used to be a recipe when this powder peanut butter came out. It was like a two ingredient brownie. <laughs> Maybe it was a cookie or something delicious. Maybe it wasn't any of those things at all, but it was like that peanut powder and like one or two other ingredients and you had a treat or a snack, whatever. So I'm going to have to uh, look into that or maybe you let me know if you know what I'm talking about. And um, I'm going to have to use that up because apparently no one else wants to use it. They used to mix it in their milk. Maybe I'll leave it on the counter. You know, here's the thing. When I take stuff out and put it on the kitchen counter, they're much more likely to eat it rather than if I just leave it in my pantry, then it just goes into the abyss. You know, things get forgotten back here. And by the way, did I just eat a crusty old piece of bread? Happy to report, I do not have food poisoning. <laughs> Questionable things I put in my mouth. All right, seasonings up here. I got to, you know, refresh this and kind of put things back in their spot. M an M&M bag was ripped open and dumped everywhere and that's probably my fault trying to get it out of the hands out of reach for the little ones but really we have stools in here and they climb up so nothing is out of their reach right and um it's working out all right so now i'm sweeping getting everything nice and tidy and i have to tell you it feels so good in here and my daughter walked in eleanor she's like oh my gosh it's so big <laughs> All right, okay. we did it. And by we, I mean I did it with your guidance. Not really guidance. I need to vacuum that spot right up there. Oh crap, I left a whole bunch of crap right here. And then all of these are just the bag clips that I found lying around everywhere. Okay, everything is a little bit more tidy in here. It's feeling good. It actually took me a while, <laughs> a lot longer than I thought, but I guess while I was in here, I just kept going. And I did get some of those filled. I need to get my rice back in here. I think that might be in the kitchen. So I need to fill that up with rice. Uh, but other than that, it's feeling a lot better. Eleanor just walked in and was like, oh my gosh, it's clean. Yeah, it's amazing what uh, 45 minutes can do. It actually might have took me longer than that. I don't know. I didn't have a timer going. I don't even, I didn't, I wasn't even listening to music either. I just kept going until it was complete and voila, I had two hands during the entire time. I'm going to, I pulled out some snacks to bring upstairs, so that's what I'm gonna do now. 
All right, here's what I gathered. Just literally a bunch of random snacks that we had. Nothing makes sense, but it's whatever. It's what we have. And we're gonna just clean up around here one mess at a time. And I'm gonna see how I can kind of organize this. Oh, I did have chocolates. Those are from Ikea. You know, I see people with like Pinterest worthy snack bars or whatever. It's just not realistic that I'm gonna keep it like that. Or is it because this won't be accessed nearly as much as my pantry. I don't know, now I'm second guessing that. I'm just thinking of all the summertime fun that will be happening in here. All the chocolate they're gonna smear all over my couch. Wow, really? There's only like five of these left? Oh, there's a few more. I am getting pumped for summertime fun because I have to tell you, I, well, first of all, I'm gonna try to stock this with healthier snacks, not the Nutella things, but I'm sure even for summertime, I'm gonna throw in some junky foods. Like, let's be, they, they're kids, let them live their life, okay? I am not perfect at eating all healthy, and I don't expect anyone else to be either. Maybe one day, I don't know, I kind of felt mom guilt this past weekend. Maybe I'll talk more about that in the next voiceover. <laughs> it hurts. Okay, I truly do just feel like I wasted my life. <laughs> but it does look pretty nice. We'll see if these actually get like eaten and stuff. I know they sell those sticky things that I can put to the bottom of those so they won't slide around because there is some excess space in the back here. But um, I am feeling pretty good about that. And this drawer looks good too. It's just, you know, more snacks for me to buy, more convenient for the kids. I'm not really sure. I'm, you know, it's just a trial run. Okay, did I explain that? Also, our mini fridge over here, it never worked. We bought the house, it didn't work. Um, and these, the size it is and everything, they're so expensive and we tried to get a repairman out. And apparently it's extremely difficult to find someone who actually repairs them and then to know which are, I don't know. I'm hoping it's like just a part. I think Alex, was on top of that at one point and then other things got in the way. So I'm gonna have to ask him about that. It would be nice just to keep waters up here. It's all we really drink anyway, but whatever, it's good enough for now. I'm gonna tidy up the rest of this stuff. And by the way, I've been eating a lot of like wisps. I found these at Costco and they're great. The cheese and pretzel bites. I, they ha I have the other wisps that are like, I don't know, some spicy cheese and those are really good too, but I, like these better even though they have pretzels in them and like carbs, but I don't care. I'm gonna try to get this place tidy up and then find a spot for this garbage can. I'm thinking behind me, but who the heck knows. Okay. I don't know what I was just talking about, but I will tell you about the mom guilt that I felt this past weekend. Someone I ran into said, oh, I watch your grocery hauls and we were talking about healthy eating. And I was like, oh, I try to keep a balance. And they said, oh, I was watching your grocery haul. It's all the processed foods and all like, immediate mom guilt oh my gosh the processed foods oh my gosh the convenience foods well you know what that's what's working for me in this time this season of my life like not everything is homemade as much as I want it to be as much as I used to do it it just is and I just have to be okay with that and if I wasn't okay with it then I would change it right I feel like we have a pretty good balance with the junky food and healthy food <laughs> and there's that I like to eat junk food I don't know I like to have cakes and brownies and all that good stuff too and you know, maybe one day. Here's the thing, though. No one's diet is perfect, right? Because what's good for one it may not be good for another. So there's that, and I'm just doing my best over here, and I feel like I'm doing good enough. And I just have to hype myself up and tell myself, ah, you're, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. So anyway, there was better and there's worse, and I feel like I'm mid-range here. I'm just trying to survive, just trying to live my life the best that I can. And I threw this clip in. We ended up um, tidying up up here, all of us. And then I'm just coming through with the vacuum, making it nice and sparkly clean for five minutes. I'm glad that's over with. I also feel like, I don't know, what did I really do much of anything at all? Um, the kitchen is in dire need of my attention, but dinner time comes first because there are so many ducks in my yard. Grounding around out there for some scraps. Okay, um, my kids would like to eat. So <laughs> I'm just whipping dinner together. I have some taco meat that was in my freezer that I thawed out for maybe like 20 minutes. And I'm trying to cook the rest of it on the stove top or thaw out the rest of it on the stove top. And I'm just setting up the bar. I'm gonna have a taco salad. So like some cheese, some romaine lettuce. I found this at Costco last time I went and they normally have a bunch of this stuff around Cinco de Mayo. It is their white queso with diced green chilies. It is delicious, uh, be careful with that, okay? We've got some tortilla chips we're gonna dip in there and then some sour cream, Alex likes that. We've got this avocado 
what is this? This was from Costco too. I wonder if it's still good. 40 calories per serving. Ch oh, it's guacamole. Okay. Um, I don't eat that stuff. I don't know. So I figured he can, uh, some of the kids can put this on their tacos or they like to make chimichangas. So I have to pull out the GFG, but this is what I want to tell you about. We also have rice and then I'm going to crack open a thing of beans and maybe some corn too. Just have a medley out there. And, um, this is what I wanted to tell you about. So I was on the quest for these quest chips. See what I did there? And they're protein chips if you've never heard of them. So some people told me they tasted horrible. Some people were like, they're awesome. So there's a range of emotions around these. Uh, guys, there's 18 grams of protein in a bag of chips. So if you know anything about things that are full of protein, they normally don't taste that good. Like look, there's not that many chips in there. 18 grams of protein is crazy sauce. So yeah, it kind of tastes like cardboard, but also kind of tastes like a chip. Also kind of tastes delicious if you're wanting chips, but don't want to eat the, you know, all the stuff. So it's like a healthier for you chip. 18 grams of protein is insane. So I would say eight out of 10 on the scale of like, heck yeah, these are amazing. But also if you're just eating them as a chip, like, I mean, you just have to know it's not going to, it's not a Dorito, okay? I hear my meat sizzling away. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you if you're looking for like just an easy dinner idea. I'm gonna throw that on my taco salad and then have the kids try some because really the protein in this is gonna keep me full way longer than like a Dorito, you know? Even though I love Dorito, so <laughs> just saying. And then I was starting to work on my fridge, so I might just clean this thing up while I'm making dinner and then after dinner and stuff. I pulled out some, I had plans for dinner. I pulled out some chicken. <laughs> and then, you know, plans change as we get busy and stuff, so I might start tidying this thing up and uh, we've got some leftovers in here. Like this is from meatloaf that I made. There's like nothing left. Before I start cleaning my fridge, uh, two more things that I got from Target. This, so random, not even close to Thanksgiving. Someone must have just like returned it or something. Uh, and I said, I'll snag that up. So I definitely did that. I'm gonna try to remember to put it out during Thanksgiving. I thought they were too cute to pass up. And then if you're wondering, the best, all time best, my favorite bug repellent, and the mosquitoes get real bad around here at night, and we like to be outside a lot because um, it's Florida, why the heck not? Anyway, the mosquitoes are horrible, and these are fantastic. It's natural, it's all natural, but plant-based, but it actually works and you can feel it on your skin. It's like a refreshing kind of thing. So a lot of times it's hot, you know, so having this on and it like lingers on your skin. So you might hate it, but I love it. I find it's my absolute favorite bug spray. It doesn't smell crazy. It actually smells pleasant. I want to say like lemon or something. So if you're looking for something, look no further than this. They also have a spray one that I've gotten several off of Thrive Market. Um, but that's the, this is the first time I saw the aerosol can. So I snagged two of these up. So if you're looking for something like more natural, but actually works, here's the stuff. That stuff is really good, I'm just saying. Okay, so I'm in the middle of kind of making dinner. Also figure, this is real life, like I just clean as I go and if I have five minutes here, five minutes there, I will take that time to, in this instance, tidy up my fridge. I won't get the whole thing done in one fell swoop, but I'll get a little bit done at a time and that's how I work, especially with, I mean, five kids running around all the time. I do things in spurts. So like even my editing, I'll edit like, you know, 10 minutes at a time. Or if I get 30 minutes, oh my gosh. The things that I can get done, oh my, oh, and that's another thing it reminds me of. I saw something else on Instagram. You know, sometimes I scroll in the middle of the night and I saw something, what did it say? Oh, something like moms are more efficient. They can get more things done in like a two hour period of time than other people get done in an entire week. <laughs> and I believe that, okay? Because the things that I can get done during nap time or during, you know, while I have two free hands or whatever, I'm like, oh my gosh, imagine how productive I would be if I had two free hands all day long. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe you get burnt out. But anyway, I think just in general, we try to be as productive as we can because there are so many things that need to be done. This is my dinner, I thought I'd share it with you. Everyone else had chimichangas and tacos and all that stuff. I had a taco salad, some people had salad too, but I just do lettuce, a little bit of cheese, beans, the meat, and then I threw these Quest chips on top of it. Delish, 
De- wrap it in a tortilla. I don't, I'm not against that. I love tortillas too. And I had one uh, just this morning for breakfast. Hey, I had some leftovers and I threw the Quest chips on top of there. They're fantastic. I don't know. I guess some people don't like them obviously because they're not, it's not a Dorito, but I enjoy them. I don't enjoy the cost. I will say that. Did I mention how expensive they are? Because they're pretty pricey. Okay. But they do fill you up and all that good stuff. They're better for you. So what's the cost? You know, you pay for what you get. And here I am, it's after dinner, and I'm finishing up the fridge, not even doing a full cleaning of it, just a little wipe down. I didn't take out all the condiments or all the big things. I just took out enough for me to wipe it down. And these were our beach snacks from like, I don't know, two weeks ago when we went to the beach. And I'm going through the condiments, seeing if everything is not expired. How do I say that? Positively phrased. If everything is still good, (laughs) I don't know. And um, I found some salad dressing that was bad, so I threw that away. And really, we had so many leftover containers here. Oh, that's my thumbnail. In real life. Vogue, strike a pose. Oh, heavens to Betsy. I opened this thing up and I said, absolutely not. I was about to put it back in the fridge because I thought it was just, oh, sliced green onions. Uh, No, I must have sliced them like two stinking months ago because they were uh, gross. I wonder if I would have put a paper towel in there, maybe if they would have been a little better. But here is the after, and it's looking a little bare. Don't worry. I went grocery shopping. I think it doesn't even matter. Don't worry. Our kids have food. (laughs) You know what I mean? We have plenty of food to eat always. And um, I'm just tidying up after dinner. This is normally a family affair. Everyone pitches in and helps Um, after dinner today you know, some people had other things to do. Maybe it was nice outside enjoying the sunshine. And sometimes, honestly, I like to just have my own space. Okay. So this was nice. I got to clear the counter. I think maybe Alex helped me or the kids with the dishwasher, the the dishes in the dishwasher. It's fine. You know what I mean? So the GFG is one of my least favorite things to clean. I, I don't know. It's like not that bad to clean, but I feel like it's just, ugh. it's just awkwardly shaped. It's whatever. So I cleaned it. It helps if you get it warmed up. That's what Alex does. That's I think one of the reasons why I don't enjoy chimichangas as much as, much as everyone else because I know I'm going to have to clean the GFD. <laughs> and I I don't know. I just like a salad more than a chimichanga. Anyway, I'm trying to look for some music. I have a running list on my phone of like songs that I like and eventually want to make a playlist <laughs> out of. And so whenever I want to listen to a song, I'm like, oh, I know... I know which one it is, but I don't know which one it is. So I have to reference my list and then I can throw it on Google. Don't know exactly what I'm listening to right now, but apparently it is a jam and a half and a full vibe because I'm, you know what I think it is? God is in this story. It's a good one. I really enjoy it. Uh, It really hypes me up to do dishes. You know, if there's a task that you're putting off that you don't feel like doing, just pump up the, pump up the jams, pump it up while your feet are stomping. And it might get you through. It might give you that little kick that you need to um, muster through. To muster through? Good enough. To get through the task, the daily tasks, the daily mundane tasks that all have to get done. And then you're probably going to have to do it again tomorrow, okay? It's life. It's the life worth living. And uh, some of those leftovers, don't be alarmed. Most of them were empty. Like most of them didn't have a ton of stuff in it but it just went bad. Like those strawberries, there's probably like a few cut up strawberries in there that just got mushy and people ate around and that was it. You know what I mean? So, but ultimately the whole container gets left in the fridge just because there's a little in there. So anyway, we've got to do our best. It's fridge cleaning out day. It's a happy day. It's a good day. I always like a clean fridge, right? And it doesn't last for very long, but it always feels good when you have a tidy fridge. You know, I see people on Instagram and I don't, man, I just don't know how they do it. They, it's like they have a spot for everything and everything looks perfect. And I'm wondering, do you, do they buy the same exact things every single week at the grocery store? That would make things easy. I don't know, man. I'm not at that level in my life. I'm st- I, I'm very much in survival mode. And I feel it. <laughs> I feel it. I don't even know what was in that popcorn container. I thought, is this like burned bits? And then I thought, maybe it's brownie in there. And we, I know I used the popcorn container just as a garbage can before we had a garbage can up there, you know. 
Oh, by the way, the garbage cans that are up there, oh, they're fantastic. They're doing so well. I'm so happy that we find, I don't know what took us so dang long to put a nice garbage can up there, but it was very much needed now, especially since we have like the food wrappers and stuff up there. Oh, gosh, gosh, gosh and goodness. I'm so happy about the progress that's being made upstairs. You know, I used to not spend a lot of time up there, but now that Wentworth is crawling around, I'm up there a lot more often playing around. So, and then we have movie night and stuff. Ever since we got that couch, I feel like it's really taken a step towards the better. And, um, the couch is from Costco, by the way, I do get questions about that. I don't even know if I showed it in this video, but it's like one of the ones that pulls out and we were looking for a pullout couch, but not one with like a mattress because apparently those are ugh, not that great. And, uh, oh, I guess I decided to show you the Blue Land, the toilet cleaning tablets. You just throw it in, it foams up, and then you swash it around and you clean like anything else. So this is zero waste, clean products, clean ingredients, and better for you products. You know, that whole vibe. I like it. I have all this laundry to fold. I'll do that later. It looks like a lot, but I see a lot of towels. I, oh, there's more in there. I'm just gonna throw a load in, and then I'm gonna make, oh, hold on, there's a story about that. Then I'm gonna make some uh, some treats for Brownie Friday. But while I was doing the dishes in the kitchen, I threw in some essential oils. The Disney ones, I don't know. It's pirate ship something. It's supposed to smell like Disney. Don't ask me, but I will tell you, it does smell like something that reminds me of a perfume I wore in high school. Either the perfume I wore in high school or what my car smelled like in high school. I'm not really sure. It reminds me of something. Something from my past. Maybe it reminds me of that one time I went to Disney and rode the pirate ship ride. Oh, this. Oh. So as you can see, it still has the tags on it, which I guess I need to rip off because I'm gonna wash it. But I bought this as like a beach cover up. And then I got home, I bought it a few weeks ago and I thought, oh yeah, I can wear that to the beach. It's gonna be great. No, it's not great. It's so thick, it made me so hot. And I wasn't even at the beach, but it was in my closet and I was carrying Wolfgang. I just noticed it this morning. It's not poop, calm down. He just had like an apple pouchy and then he threw up. That's my guess. I don't really know, but uh, that's what I'm going with. So anyway, I need to wash it and then maybe I'll wear it now that I have to. I might throw some stain remover on this. Drift is my all time favorite stain remover. I don't know what the heck is in this stuff, but it gets everything out. It could be the fact that I use half the bottle every time I have a stain. All right, fingers crossed. Oh, there's more. No, that's a button. Fingers crossed on that. Oh, I hate that. So I made this, but, and I filmed it, but my, this video is so long, so I'll share it in my next video <laughs> with you. Is that a deal? <laughs> it took me a while. There are two parts to it, but it was delicious. I will say that. Oh my heavens. Good. I don't know what the heck was in this washing machine, but it was rattling about and it shifted that far away from the wall. What the, um, I don't, what? <laughs> All right, I'm needing to <laughs> fold all of these. If this gives you any frame of reference, the last time I folded laundry, I think it's been an entire week. I know that because I line dried these clothes a week ago. <laughs> all right, well, no time like the present to tackle something that you've put off for a week, right? And it's like not my fault. <laughs> I say that as a joke, by the way. Uh, it's just been a really busy week, you know how for us, it's the last month of school and it's always like filled with end of the year performances from everyone. Like just this week alone, we spent three days at the kids' school. Obviously, we've got three kids in school. Thankfully, they had performances on three separate days, but it's also like, I almost wish it was all one day, like different times, of course, <laughs> just, to, just to knock it out. But for us, we go, you know, and it's always, you know, early afternoon, mid morning. So it really cuts our day. And then before you know it, the day's over and you spend like four hours there. It's just, it's a lot. 
it's time consuming. It's exciting. I love that their kids' school does so many performances for them and so many extra, very, very special things. I love that. That's part of the reason why we love their school. I can't rave about it enough. It's also teacher appreciation week, so busy week for them too. And it's just, it, but you know, end of the year, they always have a million things to do. So it's time consuming is what I'm trying to say. And that's why I haven't kept up on laundry. Not that I ever keep up on laundry because there's always something, isn't there? There's always a reason, right? Always an excuse. All I hear are excuses, but Now's the time for me to tackle this, now that I have two hands, because that doesn't always happen, and like folding laundry and sorting laundry. Ugh. So that's why I put it off, you know? Normally on chore day, we have the kids, well, Alex like gathers it all up, and the kids help him, and they bring it to the living room, and they just sort everything. So, I don't know, that normally happens, but, you know, things. So I'll just take lead of this and trust that uh, this weekend there will be multiple loads of laundry that I need to do because I'm pretty sure all of their laundry baskets are, this one smells really good, are um, full. So it'll be a weekend to reset. I We do have like things that are going on but not things that are like really taking us away from the house. So the kids should have time to um, focus on their rooms and tidy up and stuff. And let me tell you, I have been feeling like a failure in the mom department lately, like capital F. And I know, I don't know, it's hard for me to say like, oh, I'm doing the best I can when so many things are falling through the cracks and even though we get them done, okay, so I'll give you an example. Last night, we, you know, after dinner, we were just sitting out on the porch, the kids were playing soccer in the backyard and it was just like, a nice moment and I didn't want to get up and start cleaning I didn't want to disrupt them and be like hey instead of doing this let you know there are other things we need to do I just let them let them play soccer let them be kids let them enjoy their lives and I was we were enjoying our life too you know what I mean sometimes you just gotta sit and chill and then the baby needed to go to bed and I didn't get to stay out there long anyway but <laughs> we have like the cameras that we watch them through so I turned that on for a little bit and that was fun I digress. What I'm trying to say is last night we didn't get things done that needed to be done. So then this morning, because I forgot about them, this morning time came and I'm like frazzled running around the house like, oh my God, I completely forgot about this project that's due today and you need to get the materials and let's run around the house. Oh my gosh, did you finish your homework? Where's your homework folder? Where's your Thursday folder? Where are all the things? On top of the chaos that normally exists in the morning we also had that so that was making me feel like a fit and then like Eleanor couldn't find one of her shoes because it was like buried under some laundry and I was like oh my god it's like I should be on top of laundry I should be like helping her organize her things so that y y she's able to find her things she ended up finding them she's she's actually really good about organizing Avelina is probably the best because she's the oldest obviously but what I'm getting at is I always feel like if I gave them more of me if I had more to give them if I had more time if I had more more like the household would run so much smoother than it does I'm doing my best over here but some days I feel like I'm just keeping my head above water and you know my kids are happy they're healthy they're all the things and we very rarely miss out but I just I always feel like oh I should be doing more like why isn't XYZ done you know but then I also have to take a step back and realize like I have a baby who is and that in itself is all consuming it's just not always easy to like give myself grace because the mom that I want to be versus the mom that I am are like two completely different things but it won't be like this forever, and one day, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to um, have my life a little more put together than it is at the current moment. Because I won't always have a little six-month-old. I won't always have, like, littles that depend on me for so much. But I do feel like I'm doing the best that I can in the season that I'm in, and that's all I can do. All right, let me focus on this laundry and get this all squared away, and then we can start moving it. Oh, what's the movie tonight? Oh, I forgot. Um, Mario? Eleanor said, because I thought it was just in the theaters, Eleanor said we could stream it. So I don't know if it costs money or anything because I'm not into that. She said it was free, <laughs> but we're going to find out. Spoiler alert. Uh, we did not watch Super Mario Brothers 3, or I don't even know what it's called. Mario? 
We ended up watching The Aristo Cats. It is a classic. The kids enjoyed it as much as they could. <laughs> I just, there's something about classic Disney, you know? Alex and I trying to, I think last week we watched The Parent Trap. The week before that, oh, whatever it was, was not great. I don't remember. I erased it from my memory, but we have been enjoying like the movie nights and stuff. So I think all in all, we're doing good things, okay? We're trying to make memories with our kids and have them look back on their childhood with fondness instead of um, a trauma response. <laughs> you know, we're just doing our best. I always, I often wonder, oh gosh, what are my kids going to look back on their childhood and, and say about it? Good and bad, you know? I just, I try because I, you know, that's life, good and bad. Not everything can be perfect. Try as we may, you know? But... I will tell you, all of these things that I have folded, I don't think any of them have been put away. Maybe the towels. Maybe Alex took his, his laundry too. But my clothes are definitely still in the laundry room because I went there this morning to get my leggings. <laughs> I was like, um, I think I'll put these away later. So maybe in the next video too. Something to look forward to, you know, cliffhanger. All right, that is it. I am done for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. Don't forget to check out IXL. You can get 20% off of your first year. My link is in the description box below and I appreciate you hanging out with me and spending time with me. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.